All right, so who, do, who else do we have to talk to? <laughs> well, maybe there isn't any point to living. Well, I hope so. I mean, she gave me her charm. Get it off! Get it off! <laughs> huh. I wonder where we're gonna ever see that. By the way, I would have played that clip if only Fox wouldn't uh, wouldn't get their panties in a bunch and claim copyright issues. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let's actually go go back to Tantacle. I mean, we really didn't use any other place as an outpost. Uh, my name's Miyuki Takara. Thank you very much. Well, that's always a good thing. Yep. Don't forget the suntan lotion. <laughs> well, I would I sure as hell would hope so. Haha. <laughs> -ha. I sure as hell would hope you like it. I mean, I just busted my ass to beat this thing. Glad I... I think I'm glad I could help. <laughs> uh, you're a little late for that. Sure there is. Yeah, I don't want to see that fat ass. I mean, it's not like he's gonna leave a descendant that'll say just just leave some commoner, go defeat another uh, another Lord of the Dragons. I guess little kids are cute. Glad you like it. There's a person we can talk to. Wait, didn't they see you in Rimmelbar? Oh well, let's go talk to the kingy now. I've dicked around enough. See my beloved mommy anymore. Wait a second, wait a second. Erdrick, Lodo, and Roto isn't actually a person, it's a title? What? Okay. How are they doing that with trumpets? Sounds like they have keyboards.
So now that we enjoy the ending, let's go ahead and rate this game. This is actually the first game I ever partook in, and it's finally done. After three really long breaks, it's finally done. So let's go ahead and again give it its ratings. Uh, graphics get a B plus. Uh, the reason it's a, it's a B plus is because there are games from the from just the Game Boy Color that have graphics even better than this. In fact, the game that came out first. Uh, and thus appointed as Lodo Yuki became the hero of Aleph Guard. Well, I guess the pink hair pays off. But by the end of the celebrations, Miyuki was nowhere to be seen. Gee, I wonder where she where she went. Her sword and armor were revered as those of Loto. Even though it should be Miyuki. And the crest came to be known as Lodo's Seal. Or Erdrick's token, as we're gonna find out. Okay, sorry for the spoiler. So anyway, there were actually put, uh, games that came out even before this, even before the uh, the Game Boy Color, that had graphics that were just as good, if not better, than this. And I would actually say Pokemon had better graphics than this. And it's also something that we never, uh, that we haven't, it's also not something we haven't seen before. In fact, Dragon Warrior 1 and 2, just, uh, even for the Game Boy Color, had graphics that were just like this. It's almost as if they ripped off the, uh, the graphics and made it into Dragon Warrior 3. Not bad, and the graphics that they had for this made really good use of the Game Boy Color. It's just old, and there were, uh, there were games that had better graphics. Sound and music get, uh, get a B. Now, it does sound like it should in terms of Dragon Warrior, and it, had a, it has an absolutely great soundtrack. In fact, the town theme from this game is the best town theme in the history of gaming. I don't care what anybody says, the town theme is the best theme in the history of gaming. Well, from, from even this version. The symphonic version from the SNES version was just downright pathetic. Now that's not to say the NES version of the town theme wasn't wasn't good. I'm just saying they remade it in this version to be great. Story gets a D minus. Now the charm of Dragon Warrior, even up to this day, was all about the the exploration and the fact that there really wasn't much of a story. And it, it just seems like during the course of making this game, they realized, oh shit, we need to make the story of Erdrick. Okay, quick, don't scrap anything. Put in, uh, put in Aleph Guard and make it into a story. I don't necessarily like that. I mean, if you're not gonna put a story in, that's fine. But keep it about exploration, or tell these, tell a story all throughout the game. The time in our, uh, our time in the light world. You know, that didn't tell a story, that had Dragon Warrior charm. Our time in Aleph Guard, not so much. Story execution gets a D minus, because again, it's almost as if they tried rushing the, uh, the Dragon Warrior story. Gameplay gets, uh, gets a B plus. Now, the, the controls seemed really smooth, and there were a lot of options, in fact, the options that you have in this game are unprecedented in Dragon Warrior. You have more, the only game in which you have more options in your party is the Dragon Warrior Monsters, uh, yeah, Dragon Warrior Monsters series. So, yeah, the options here are just absolutely outstanding. The problem with the gameplay is, again, they revolve this around a story, they revolve this around moving on, but they involve just too much grinding. The difficulty uh, jump from those three bosses pre-Zoma to Zoma required us to grind for about four or five levels each. That shouldn't be a last boss. I should, uh, if even to do some grinding, maybe one, or, uh, maybe one or two levels, maybe up to half an hour, but not that much. And now the charm of Dragon Warrior is it's grinding. I will admit that. But I shouldn't have to do so much grinding at the very end. And to be honest, this is actually the third time I recorded this episode. The first two times I recorded this episode, I actually tried without all that grinding. I got my ass kicked.
So, you know, again, I don't mind grinding. That's Dragon Warrior. There isn't a single Dragon Warrior that isn't all about grinding. It's just a little too pathetic in, in this game, to be honest. The replay value gets a B plus. Um, I really enjoyed the options, and that's actually why, uh, why you'd come back. Basically, it's try a different party. Try a more challenging party. Try, try an all physical party. And try, uh, try to go through it without the, uh, the Dharma Temple. There's just too many options not to come back to. I mean, just way too many not to come back to, and it's it's just great. Again, the only game series in which you have this many options in regards to Dragon Warrior is the spin-off Dragon uh, Dragon Warrior Monsters. Fun Factor gets an uh, gets an A. Now there are some difficult points uh, points in, in time in this game, uh, like the pyramid. I fucking hated that dungeon. It needed to be put later. The problem is they put it where it did, and 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 that'll ruin this uh, this whole game for some people. And the reason it doesn't get an A plus is because some of the fun factor is actually taken out by the fact that you actually have to stumble on your first hint that there are orbs there as sort of a side quest before you fight uh, before you bite, fight Baramos. You know. If you're gonna do that, at least leave some sort of hint. The rest of the game is actually pretty fun. Despite the rather bad grades up to this point in time, it is actually pretty fun. Overall, Dragon Warrior 3 for the Game Boy Color gets a uh, gets a B plus. Great game. Now, is it one of the is it even one of the best for the Game Boy Color? Hell no. But it is a great game. If you don't have it and you have a Game Boy Color, or even a Game Boy Advance or Game Boy Advance SP, go get it. Find it. Get it on the internet. Get it from Buyback Games. Get it. Just get it. It is a great game, and considering you're probably not going to be spending more than $15 on it, it is a great buy. So, on that, I hope you enjoyed Let's Play Dragon Warrior 3. When, I, when we come back, we're going to be starting the second part of the Erdra Trilogy, the NES version of Dragon Warrior. I will see you all on either side. Hasta lasagna.